You know, when people talk about finding the one or finding love, they'll often say something along the lines of, you know, you'll know when you know. Or they'll say, when it's right, you'll just know. Truthfully, for the longest time, I never prescribed or believed in that sentiment. Quite frankly, for the longest time, I thought it was just complete bullshit. Until I met Kara. <laughs> Think about what it will be like to be married. Are you excited? The, the, the most. <laughs> what are you so excited about? Well, I'm excited because I'll get to spend... <laughs> you can't video me. Because I'll get to spend my whole life with you. But right. also, I'm excited because... We'll build a life, make a baby, I'll wear a diamond, and do all the fun things, and we'll love love forever and ever 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 and you'll feel more alive. When you look into her eyes, you'll see these radiant and beautiful blue eyes staring back at you. But if you look beyond them, you'll see something so much more. You'll see a soul that thirsts for adventure. Hey, do you wanna go on all the adventures together? We could go everywhere. A soul that belongs to the moment. And most importantly, a soul that longs to invite people in. When I talk about our story and how we fell in love in a matter of three days, people often ask, how did I know she was different? Or, how did you know that she was the one? As much as I want to say, you know when you know, I also know how incredibly frustrating that can be when you're longing to find your person and you feel like you keep coming up short. So beyond just having a deep inner knowing that I felt in my bones, or beyond the fact that falling in love with her and learning how to do life with her was the easiest thing I've ever done, I will say that there was one question that I asked myself that made me realize that she was the one for me. A while back ago, I came across this relationship coach and he was telling his story about how he was getting ready to marry the woman he had been dating for several years prior. And leading up to his wedding day, he began to feel increasingly more anxious. He began to feel like deep down in him, something wasn't right. So like so many of us would do, he went to his friends, he went to his family, he went to his inner circle and explained to the best of his ability what he was feeling. All of his friends and family reassured him that it was just pre-wedding jitters and reminded him that he loved his fiance and that they were made to be together. And despite everything in him wanting to believe that to be the truth, he just could not shake what he was feeling. He couldn't help but to think that something was deeply wrong and he had to know what it was. From the way that I understand the story, because he couldn't get really kind of an unbiased answer from the people who were closest to him, he found himself on a chat room or some sort of message board and he posed the situation that he was dealing with. And it didn't take long before a woman responded to him, asking him this one question. And in that moment, when he was honest with himself and he answered that question to the best of his ability, he realized that he in fact was not the right person for the woman he was about to marry. And he realized that she wasn't the right person for him. The question goes like this. Is there anyone out there that can love her better than you? It's a hard question to ask, and it requires that you're honest with yourself. But the truth is, if there is someone out there that can love your partner better than you, then it would be selfish for you to stay inside that relationship. Not only are you keeping your partner from experiencing the deep love that's available, but you're also keeping yourself from finding it too. I guess I'm saying this because I know that sometimes the pain of letting go and stepping back out into the mystery or the unknown 
and feeling the vulnerability of it all can outweigh the pain of staying committed to something that you know is no longer right for you. Whether that's a job, a relationship or friendship, whatever it might be. I guess I just wanna remind you as I remind myself, you're worthy of finding everything that you long for. You're worthy to have it all. You haven't been disqualified. You haven't made too many mistakes. The only thing that separates those who find it and those who don't is the willingness to sit in the discomfort of the unknown for as long as it takes. <laughs> I still remember the exact moment where I found the courage to ask this question in regards to care. And believe me, it took courage to ask this question because everything in me wanted to know she was the right person. Everything in me wanted to believe that what I was feeling was in fact true. So in this moment, I gathered myself, I got quiet, I got in my heart space. I took a deep breath and I asked the question. And as soon as I asked the question, I knew in the deepest parts of my being that there is nobody that can love her better than me. I was made to love her.